All right. Meanwhile, when it comes to American presidents, no two are the same. Far from it. In fact, especially when it comes to the principles our country was founded upon, peace, prosperity, and liberty. Well, our next guest is best known for ranking our nation's leaders based on those principles. Ivan Eland is a senior fellow at the Independent Institute and author of Recarving Rushmore. And he joins us live. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. The, we love your book. We love the, the premise of it. Right now, you say that our current president, Barack Obama, who the mainstream media has regarded as one of the smartest guys since Jefferson, he's at number 34 of our 30, 41 different presidents, and you say he's dropping fast. Yeah, I think the, uh, this uh, war on ISIS uh, could end up in a debacle because I think the airstrikes uh, are not really, are actually counterproductive. And if you want to go uh, get, get them, you have to go on the ground. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of regional uh, allies on the ground. Sure. So, so there, there's a big problem there. So it's that's a, a big question mark. I don't want to. I don't want to say that this is going to go bad, but it's it's, it's fluid. Like Everybody good. else is done. Uh, let's talk about your criteria first. What is the criteria that you look at? Because you've turned everything on its head. Well, I noticed that conservatives and liberal uh, sources uh, rated presidents surprisingly similar, not identically, but similar. So I said, well, how would the founders rate these people if they came back? Because uh, the original conception was that the president would have a limited role executing the laws that Congress passed, et cetera. So uh, did, the, did the executive stay within those limited constitutional uh, parameters? Did their policies promote peace, prosperity, and liberty? And to me, that means small government. And a lot of presidents have small government rhetoric, mm -hmm. uh, but they don't produce that. And you have to look at the policies. You can't look gotcha. at rhetoric. So let's get, uh, let's get Ivan, to I want to know, who are your best presidents? Who did you Top pick number three. one, two, well, three? Well, they're very obscure. They're John Tyler, Grover Cleveland, and Martin Van Buren. What? <laughs> yeah, why? You probably, why? Never, you probably never heard of them because they, were, they had a limited role. They uh, kept the government limited, and they also uh, tried to avoid unnecessary wars. And war, unfortunately, is the biggest cause of big government in U.S. In American history. I don't see anybody right. from Mount Rushmore there. Let's see if they wound up on the worst president list. Couldn't do the, the, on the side of the mountain, they couldn't do Van Buren's you hair. You say McKinley, Truman, and Wilson were the worst presidents. Why? Well, I think uh, Woodrow Wilson, if I could con concentrate on him, uh, I say he ruined the entire 20th century. Now he's True. working yeah. the 21st. And I think yeah. that he, he got the U.S. involved in World War I. And World War I was really what led to permanent big government in the U.S. The New Deal was just a, a, a retro of the, or well, uh, they brought all the New Deal, uh, uh, I mean, the, the war socialism programs back, uh, renamed the agencies, and FDR went to town. But Woodrow Wilson was really the pioneer there uh, in, in creating big government. McKinley got shot. What did he have a chance to do? Well, McKinley uh, got us into the Spanish-American War, which led to the estate taxes. A lot of our big government programs at home also originated in war, such as the estate tax in the, in the uh, Spanish-American War. It also, it really was our first imperial and only imperial war. And uh, it, it really ended up in, in a colony, and uh, it ended up uh, really changing our foreign policy. It was a very small war. But he he uh, he got us involved in that. Okay, so Tyler would be on the new Rushmore if they were carving it today, according to Ivan Eland. The book is recarving Mount Rushmore. So thank, thank you, thank you, you Ivan. Interesting stuff.